The Cirrus SR-22 has been the best-selling general aviation airplane since 2003. And today, I'm going to take you through the complete lineup of every generation of Cirrus. Now, you might be wondering, why should you listen to me about Cirrus? I don't work for Cirrus. In fact, I've never worked for Cirrus. But I have owned three Cirri over the years. First, a G2, then a turbo normalized G3, and currently a G6 turbo. So I've been around Cirrus for almost 20 years, and I'm also a Cirrus authorized flight instructor and also the current president of the Cirrus Owners and Pilots Association. So I think I have a unique view on this particular aircraft, which I wanna share with you. So let's start with the generation one. The SR-20 was introduced in 1998, but the SR-22 didn't come out until a couple of years later in 2001 it quickly became the best-selling general aviation aircraft by 2003 and every single year since then. Even this first generation was very innovative for its time and it had a bunch of safety features which were not common back then. First, it had the famous CAP system. This is a ballistic parachute system that they call the Cirrus Airframe Parachute System. The second was an innovative wing design that had a cuff in the middle, which was based on a NASA design and greatly improved safety. Next, it had an all composite body, which gave it a sleek look with a rivet free exterior. This and many other features are what made it the best selling airplane within two years. As far as configuration, not all G1s were the same. The first 434 serial numbers that were produced had standard six-pack instruments like this, but then in starting in serial number 435, everything changed. That was the point that they introduced the Avidyne Integra PFD and went all glass. Now the G2 was made from 2004 to 2007, and during that time, they had a bunch of different innovations that they added. They added the GTS trim level, which effectively made all of the options that were available included. And then in July of 2006, they added the Tornado Alley Turbo as an option, and that improved performance even more. In 2007, Cirrus announced the G3, which was a huge change. It had over 700 changes in the design. Don't worry, I won't go through all of them. But there were a few really major changes here to note. First, a new carbon fiber wing spar that greatly improved performance. Then they had large, added larger fuel tanks, which took it from 81 gallons to 92 gallons. They added TKS that was an enhanced TKS that was a truly certified FICI or flight into known icing. But the biggest improvement, perhaps, was the Garmin Perspective avionics. This added a whole new level of capability, including enhanced infrared vision. By 2011, Cirrus had produced 5,000 Cirrus SR series, and there was a, just a steady stream of improvements that were being rolled out, both big and small, along the way. In 2013, Cirrus announced the next big generation, the G5. Now, you might be wondering what happened to G4. Well, four is an unlucky number in the Chinese culture. And so Cirrus decided to skip the G4 and went straight to G5. But it's also symbolic because G5 was such a massive change over the G3. The entire airframe was redesigned and primarily it accommodated a 200 pound increase in gross weight flaps that could be deployed at up to 150 knots. In order to accommodate all of this extra weight, they redesigned the parachute and had a larger rocket, a larger parachute, but it didn't stop there. There were tubeless tires added, Behringer brakes, digital standby gauges, AOA indicator, flight stream connectivity, USB ports, the list goes on and on. But this was truly a huge improvement over the G3. In 2017, Cirrus introduced the G6, which in terms of airframe was very similar to the G5. However, it had several significant improvements, the biggest being the avionics. The G6 included Perspective Plus, which was the first major implementation 
of the Garmin G1000 NXi platform. And that enabled a whole slew of avionics capabilities, such as Surface Watch, the Cirrus IQ app, which for the very first time allowed pilots to check the status of their plane remotely. There were also a number of notable cosmetic changes. The G6 was the first time that Cirrus started introducing an array of paint colors and schemes like the carbon, the platinum, the rhodium. And by 2003, this had been so successful that they had produced their 9,000th SR series airplane and they were just continuing on a steady path of innovation. But 2024 brought the next big generation. That was when the G7 was announced with a completely redesigned interior that was simply stunning. But more importantly, it had the Perspective Plus Touch avionics. This was quite possibly the most advanced flight deck in general aviation in the piston market. In 2025, just when people were getting comfortable with the G7, Cirrus and Garmin announced the G7 Plus. This was a radical improvement in safety. This was the first piston-powered aircraft that had an emergency auto land capability. So if you're thinking of buying a Cirrus, what's the best deal? Well, if your budget permits, obviously the G7 Plus is the way to go. However, there are some amazing aircraft on the resale market that are previous generations, but still quite capable aircraft. Here's an example of a fully refurbished G1 aircraft that has completely fresh paint scheme and has the complete avionics upgrade to the latest and greatest Avidyne Vantage suite. There are also many examples of G2s and G3s that have had complete avionics refurbs and look and feel like brand new airplanes. I hope this video helps you. And if you wanna learn more about every detail of every generation, there is a wonderful document that the Steel Aviation Group put together, which you can see here. And this document has 80 pages of every detail of every generation of Cirrus, including the Vision Jet and even a history of the company. So check it out, the description's in the link below. If you like this video, you might enjoy this playlist up here. If you wanna see what YouTube thinks you'll like best next, check out the video down here.